Bruce Lee was a Hong Kong and American actor, film director, martial artist, martial art instructor, philosopher and founder of martial art Jit Kune Do. In 1973, Bruce Lee died in Los Angeles at age 32. On the 10th of May 1973, Bruce Lee was working at the Golden Harvest studio. He was there to synchronize his new film, Enter the Dragon. During the break, Bruce went to the bathroom. And after 20 minutes of not returning, a colleague went to check up on him. He found Bruce kneeling on the floor. He said that he had dropped his contact lenses and was looking for them. His body began to shiver substantially. Two of Bruce's colleagues took him to the hospital. He had a high fever, was unconscious, and responded to nothing. His breathing was heavy, and he had problems with convulsions, explained the doctor, Don Langford. During the checkup, they found a large swelling in Bruce's brain. They gave Bruce mannitol to decrease the swelling. They also removed a small amount of hashes from his stomach. The next day, Dr. Langford asked Bruce if he is in drugs. He admitted to using hashes from Nepal. He also told Dr. Langford that he had chewed hashes the day before and afterwards fell unconscious. Dr. Langford warned Bruce about the danger of drugs from Kathmandu. He went on to warn Bruce that if he continues to these drugs, it would probably cost him his life. Dr. Carr prescribed Bruce Dilantin. Dr. Race Board's final conclusion was that he found Bruce to be in good health. Friday, the 20th of July, Linda Lee went out for lunch with a close friend. Bruce had told her that he had an appointment at home with Raymond Chow. They were going to work on the scripts of the film Game of Death. That evening, Bruce complained of having a headache. Betty gave him one of her own painkillers that she had been prescribed from a doctor. Bruce went to lie down for a while on her bed. Betty explained to Raymond that she has tried to wake Bruce up at least two times but he hasn't responded. It looked like Bruce was sleeping peacefully and Raymond couldn't wake Bruce up either. Dr. Chu immediately came to Betty's apartment but after 10 minutes he still couldn't wake Bruce up. He called for an ambulance and Bruce was taken to the Queen Elizabeth's hospital with howling sirens. The doctors tried everything, but they all agreed that they could unfortunately not save Bruce's life. It was 11 at the night. Raymond Chaw told the shocking news to the press. The people who had seen Bruce in the last weeks of his life confirmed that he looked unhealthy, he was terribly thin, looked confused, was forgetful, had rage attacks, was paranoid and was very depressed. Mourning was held for Bruce's friends and fans. They attended more than 25,000 people. His sudden death at the young age of 32 led to rumors and speculation about the cause of his demise. One theory held that Li had been murdered by Chinese gangsters, while the another rumor circulated that the actor had been a victim of a curse. The family curse theory resurfaced when the Li's 28-year-old son Brandon, who had followed in his father's footsteps to become an actor, died in an accidental shooting on the set of the movie The Crow on March 31, 1991. After the morning, Bruce was flown to the America. Just before the plane left Kaitaki Airport, Linda told the following to the press. However, the investigation is not yet closed to the death of my husband. I wish the press and the people of Hong Kong would stop speculating over the cause of death of my husband. I haven't any suspicions then that Bruce has died naturally. I don't blame myself or anybody else for that matter for his death. 
The only important thing is that Bruce has died and will never return. He lives on in our memories and through his films. Please remember Bruce because of his talent, his art, and the magic he gave us all. Still on the level right now of enjoying it as an excitement. For those of you who knew him better, the words and thoughts will always be with us and will have influence on us for the rest of our lives. He used to say, if I should die tomorrow, I will have no regrets. I did what I wanted to do. You can't expect more from life. The death of our Bruce Lee is still a mystery. No one is 100% sure about the exact cause of his demise. But he will always remain in our memories. <laughs>